episode two. Mike Tyson Mysteries. Mike Tyson Mysteries. Vlogging! Is that, oh, is that the... Ooh, this new bottle with the vlogging symbol. Got it. Sorry, I was thinking of that new vlogging symbol. <laughs> I know, it's that new. It's that brand new. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> Rest in peace, Trevor Burby. That's not what that means, man. Rest in peace, Trevor Burby. Oh, man. So, full disclosure, I don't know who Trevor Burbick is. Neither do I. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I don't feel bad. Uh, that's, the, that's kind of the thing about, you know, me trying to do this series is, I don't know, as much as I enjoy Mike Tyson on a pop culture level, it's like I know nothing about his boxing history outside of eating a Vander Holyfield beer. <laughs> <laughs> that's about all I remember, too. <laughs> yeah, so... It's like when they make references like, you know, Trevor Burbank, like, I'll, all I know is, I, I assume he was a real-life boxer back in the day and died. Yeah. I mean, this is how much I kept up with Mike Tyson's career. I, you know, saw him do some fights, and then one day he just shows up and, like, he's going to jail or something, and also he has a face tattoo. Like, that was a, I didn't know that. It's a very, <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't day. a good segue for him in my mind. <laughs> So one minute he's just beating the shit out of random civilians, and next he has a face tattoo. Like that's that's your legend, man. <laughs> I mean, it's still pretty good. Yeah, sort of. You know, he actually admitted uh, to like that the last time he really went on a bender. It's like apparently he beat up like seven prostitutes, and he was oh. high on cocaine, and uh, so I don't know what else. Jesus. But that's yeah, rough. he was all coked out, beating up prostitutes. <laughs> And now he has a cartoon. And now he has a cartoon. <laughs> uh, and you know what? Still totally glad this happened. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. It's fucking hilarious. Um, I'm not condoning beating up prostitutes. No, no, not I'm at all. I'm condoning cartoons. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> cartoons where they beat up prostitutes. Because then we know it's fake. Did they, wait, did that happen in the cartoon? Not yet. <laughs> I'm waiting. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure I just watched it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, I, I love the dynamic between the, the group though, especially uh, Pigeon and Marcus. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> I'm just sitting there just throwing the can back to the pool, like, oh, you missed one. I don't understand, I mean, he's like a, a supernatural being, like, why does he, why does he just deal with all this shit? Like, that's, he doesn't have to. <laughs> exactly. I think that's the point, is his character's that passive. Right. Oh, huh. But even in death, he lets people walk all over him. Didn't think about that. That's pretty funny. Even a shit-talking pigeon. <laughs> to the mystery mobile! Oh, shit. Marcus looks like you missed another one. Oh. It's young. <laughs> uh, man, I can't wait till they, like... Did they flesh out that story already, or is that in the future episode? Uh, uh, about Pigeon? Yeah, why he became a Pigeon and everything. Yeah, no, they haven't gotten around to that yet. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to spoil it, but... <laughs> no, 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 no future episode spoilers, just individual episode spoilers. <laughs> right, so if y'all haven't seen it yet, sorry, spoilers, this is what we're doing. <laughs> it's like 11 minutes, just go watch it. <laughs> right? So even if we do spoil, do some spoilers, still, it's a great episode, if we say so, go watch it. I think it. it'd be pretty hard to spoil this, man, because the funny parts are just mostly, like, non-sequiturs in this episode. Yeah, well, that and a lot of it comes from uh, Mike's reaction to things. Well, it's it's, it's funny because, like, most of his reactions to things are, like, him not knowing what the fuck anything is, <laughs> and then they react to somebody, or go to, like, a reaction shot to someone, and then they explain it to him. Or him like knowing him. his version of the way things are. <laughs> and yeah. somehow, because it's his world, it works. <laughs> but, uh, like, Young he just his whole running gag with Young He being a robot. Is that, is that a running gag? Yeah, it was a running gag throughout the whole... This episode, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. I was like, I don't remember him calling her a robot in the first one. No, no, no. Just, just, just this one, because it just happened to involve robotics. <laughs> <laughs> you can read ones and zeros. I was like, it just spells out help me. <laughs> now hold up, hold up. If you can read binary, that means you're a robot. And if so, you should have come to me earlier. <laughs> Man, your Mike Tyson voice is so much better than mine. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, yeah. Marcus being a bitch. Hey, you being catty, Marcus? Come on, man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I'm just still so glad that they got Jim Rash for this. Dude, I can't stop watching that clip of him doing the the payday rap. Now Barack Obama is scared of me because I don't swallow knowledge and I spit it for free. Let me clear my throat. Ha, ha, ha. I don't know what that was. I don't. I don't know what that was. <laughs> oh man, I think I watched that for like five minutes straight just like belly laughing the entire time. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We, need, we really need to get you caught up with community. Also, one thing I appreciate about the series so far is that, um, like the references, they're not like dumb references. Like you kind of have to know who Gary Kasparov is, or maybe I'm not giving people enough credit. But like you know, I'm, you know, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not. You know, I've never really been interested in the world of chess like that. Right. You know, and then for them to incorporate IBM also, like that was totally unnecessary. But they went there. Do you think they got? Product placement, not product, but like, I don't know, they paid them to put them in this cartoon. Mm. That's a pretty big advertisement. Yeah, that's pretty obscure advertisement, too. Well, it is, but yeah. Which would make it all the more genius. Well, finally, like, why would IBM be like marketing towards whoever that watches this? I mean, I don't know. Malarkey. I guess older people watch this now. I mean, I'm watching this and. I could be running a company where I needed some international business machines. <laughs> you mean mad machines? machines. saying destruct instead of destroy. <laughs> I also was about to give this shit for his, like, Gary Kasparov's accent kind of sounded like his Alright, that's, that's, yeah, that's Russian. Yeah, that's, that's Russian. Russian. Mm -hmm. Russian enough for me. Yeah. Of course, you're not going to be able to get any of these people to actually come do the voices, although it would be cool in some cases. <laughs> you know, like, guest appearances. Yeah. I like, a. Uh, <laughs> I like the scene right here because it's basically all about Pigeon. You know he's going to say something when he won't get the drink and he's just like, mm. ah, screw it. No, I just love his reaction to the whole chess match. He's just like, huh, will you give me a drink? No. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's that forward. <laughs> all right, I'm out of here. <laughs> well, he couldn't even watch it for five seconds. <laughs> and he gets cut off. And finds Bobby Fischer. <laughs> Of all the people in the world, it had to be a pigeon who finds Bobby Fisher. Ridiculous. <laughs> like, they get so excited about the Deep Blue beating, like, someone who nobody knows. Like, the whole point was that it was Carrie Casper, and I was like, ah, computers well, are better than people. <laughs> See, I, I think I've got to, like, just because it's the daughter of a celebrity, that's why they still allowed it. But the, like, it's does not anybody like, know that not the like daughter she's of a celebrity? In this, does anybody know that she's his daughter? Well, yeah, that was the first thing he said. Yeah. So Michael was just like, oh, because she, she was like, I'll beat the computer. Who are you? She's my daughter. You don't look like you. That's because she's a robot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess so. Alright, I'll let that one slide. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, I get he's a celebrity, but still, it's, it's Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson's kid versus... I mean, it's not like he's well-renowned for his... Uh, <laughs> his chess playing skills or his mental prowess. You know? Yeah, no. I mean, I'm not knocking him. I'm just saying. I don't think that's Which what Which is why his kids have to be geniuses. Skips a generation, like a complete generation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His grandkids are screwed. It's 
I just wonder what else Marcus can do if they'll delve into that as far as like his ghostly abilities. I mean, he obviously already taught Mike how to like exercise ghosts or something. Basically, yeah. Where do you go? <laughs> I think they do a really good job in the cut where it's like, oh, something ridiculous just happened, and then the next scene is just like a very factual, like, the stock price is plummeted today. <laughs> Yeah, I love how that's what beats the men of the machine is just being voted out. <laughs> like, you think it was going to be some big robot revolution or something? It's like, no, he just got nope. voted out by the shareholders. <laughs> that's what defeated him. <laughs> that's hilarious to me. <laughs> and then Mike's celebration. <laughs> that, that wasn't a mystery. mystery. <laughs> that was just a hat on a hat. <laughs> that's not what that means. Yeah, that's another good running joke. You know, and then seeing him in real life doing the voice just like ties yeah. it all together at the end. Yeah, you know, Jackie Chan history style. I yeah, like that. I forgot about that completely. Yeah, they also did the same thing for, uh, what was that, Super Dave? He's incredible! He's spectacular! He's Super Dave Osborne! <laughs> Oh, yeah. He had his so cartoon. Game Osborne. Yeah. And uh, Super Mario Brothers, and they had their trip. Hey, Paisanos! It's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! We're with the Mario Brothers, and plumbing's a game. We're not like the others who get all the fame. Oh, God. Yeah, no. They have the guys who are to be Mario Luigi. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So that was episode two. Yeah. Still so strong. Still going strong, still funny. <laughs> See y'all at episode three. Vlogging. <laughs> what the f is this?